Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Escalation contract, the Sweeney Scrupulousness. We want to start in the medical area because we're nice and close and just make sure you bring along a silent pistol because we need to take out a camera. So for this one we need to take out our target with the amputation knife which is so brutal. So we'll take out this camera, we'll make a distraction for the for the other medic inside this building. How much time remaining? Now he Don't is an enforcer anything. so you do need to just happen. just hide away so he doesn't find you but he's gonna come out and investigate. We'll just subdue him and pop his body into the crate. Now there is a Kronstadt driver inside this area as well, so we can just run in and How take him doing? out, yeah, yeah, relax, just subdue him. There is a like a little container there that we can pop his body in. Now we'll go and grab the amputation knife, which, which is just on the other side of these green screens. Oh, we won't do that. Create a distraction. Our target is actually at the front desk. So we'll just grab the knife and we'll just wait here like an absolute creep just standing here waiting. So you can see here on the left there once she stops throw another coin at the wall and she's now going to wander in here to see what the noise was. Throw the knife at her and then run to the exit. Okay, level two. We've got another target, as well as any dead or unconscious bodies need to be hidden before we can leave. So we need to smuggle in an item. We'll pop it in the Kronstadt storage area and we'll bring along the Anetic dart gun. So what we need to do for this one is just a little bit different. Our first target is outside these front doors of the medical area. He, is have, he will start a conversation and once he's finished he will then start his rotation. Now he won't start that conversation until you're in earshot so we may as well just get his conversation started as soon as possible so he can start wandering. We'll go and grab the pistol, the emetic pistol and now we'll head out the back. What we're going to do is we will take out this, uh, take out this camera We'll create a distraction for the medic inside, but we're not going to take him out because we're actually not going to have enough space for all the bodies that we're going to make. So in order to do that, instead of taking out the Kronstadt driver, we are just going to turn on this tap and then he's actually going to be able to go to the bathroom and instead of him he'll just leave now instead of doing the rotation so what we need to do is just wait now for him to go to the bathroom and then he'll start up a conversation with the medic so as soon as he walks out and stops we'll go and create that distraction again if you take this medic out too soon the driver will have no one to talk to and he'll just continue on his rotation but we need him gone So once he started talking, we can create that distraction again. The driver will leave, and the medic will come back out to look at oh, this generator. Now we can take him out and pop him in the bin. We'll pop him in the in the bin here. Make sure we grab our emetic pistol. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and and shoot our first target with the pistol and that's going to make him sick and he's going to head into the bathroom inside these containers. Nice and easy isolation for us to take him out. So here he comes, he's wandering towards us now. He's going to pass and just shoot him. There is also another medic wandering back and forward, but he's got his back to us, so we'll just shoot him. 
Make way, people. Gotta find a bathroom. Oh right no, that poor guy. So he turned that way and he's like, no, there's definitely a bathroom Damn. closer. <laughs> All right, so now he's inside. We'll grab the amputation knife and we will just take him out. Pop him in the cupboard. And then we are just going to create that same distraction for the lady at the front desk for, as level one. She'll just wander in here. Once you can see her, once she's stopped, just throw the coin at the wall. If she's still walking, sometimes the distraction doesn't register. So you just, just wait for her to be absolutely still before you throw that second coin. Take her out. But this time we need to pop her body into the cupboard. Because we can't leave until all bodies are hidden. So, pop her body in the cupboard, run to the exit, and we'll come back for level 3. Okay, so level three, we've been given another target and there's some things that have been removed or added to the level. Now the only thing that I've noticed is the bin that we put the medic in is now gone. So we need to find somewhere else to pop his body. So what we're going to do is do everything like we did in level two. We're just going to replicate that. We are going to leave our new target till the end. Because he he does he does something super weird. So we're gonna we, we're gonna leave that one till the end. So what's gonna happen is we will yeah, like I say, we'll just replicate this. So I will come back when we've done that. Oh, it looks like the tires are just too cool. You see, that's the problem. You come straight from the pit and it's a completely different surface. I mean, you start on the concrete, then you hit the pavement, and the change in grip is, it's just amazing. Right, here we go. Uh, excuse me, I need a little privacy here. Oh, oh that did it. Oh, running water. Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. You can just feel the tension in the air. Now this is a good, clean family show, folks. Make no mistake. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning. And Moses Lee and Sierra Knox are neck and neck out there. Okay, so we'll head to our new target this time. We're going to hit him with the emetic gun because that just makes it so much so much easier for us. So we'll, we'll hit him. Now, he's going to wander to a bathroom, but it's not the bathroom that I thought he was going to go to. It's another one. But what we need to do, he actually can walk through walls, this guy. He is going to walk through this wall and head into this crate. So once he's in here, do I get him walking through the wall? No, I don't. But once, you can see on the mini-map, he just walks. Here we go, he walks through the wall. <laughs> Hilarious. So once he's in here, 
He's isolated. It doesn't matter if he spots you because you kill him anyway. Oh, that's so brutal. Pop his body in the cupboard. The chunk. And now we are going to go and get our final two targets. Just like level two, the medic is walking up and down this area. We just need to use the emetic gun on him and then take him out in the isolated area and then cause a distraction with the coin for the lady. Then we can head to an exit and that is the Sweeney scrupulousness complete and if I'm not mistaken that's every single ice isolation every single escalation contract in Miami complete for me so I'm I'm getting through them so guys like always thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today I really do appreciate it if you're new here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the other challenges as we or escalation contracts as we make our way through the Hitman trilogy. So we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.